Hi there! Permissions can be found almost everywhere in M files, even in workflows. When defining permissions in workflows, you get to choose such things as who can see the workflow, who has the access to the document in a certain state, and who gets to move the document to the next state. In this video, I will walk you through all the ways of limiting and granting access to a document that has been put into a workflow. But before we dive in, make sure you've watched the previous videos regarding workflows, where the different parts of workflows such as assignments and the state transitions are explained, since in this video we'll be focusing on the permissions. Ready? Let's go! First, let's create a new workflow. Here you can define the people who get to see this workflow. You can choose either a whole department or individual users. Let's create the workflow states and add the state transitions next. There we go. Now every workflow state can have its very own permissions. You can use named access control lists, which are predefined sets of permission settings, or you can define custom permissions for the workflow state. For example, in the draft state, it could be beneficial that only the document creator gets to see, edit, delete, and change the permissions of the document that is put into the workflow. The workflow state transitions can also have permissions, as said before. This means that you get to define who can move the document into the next state. Pretty straightforward. Now, if you're working on a document review and approval workflow, like we're here. To have mfile sent assignments when transitioning from state to state, we need to do some extra magic. And like I said in the beginning, if you haven't seen the video on how to create a review and approval workflow, go check it out. We need to create two more workflow states in which the permissions are defined. The permissions need to be defined in the state before the one where the assignment is created, since mFiles has a certain order it performs the workflow state actions. Also, when defining the permissions and adding the individuals who need the access to the document, you need to add the assign to among them in order for the assignment to work after the permissions take effect. Otherwise, you might end up with the assignment getting lost somewhere in Galaxy. And if you want, you could add the document creator on the list and give them the read access so they're able to see where the document is going and what is happening to it. The same procedure needs to be done to the send for approval and waiting for approval states. Lastly, you could make the document visible to all internal users once it's approved, and the same can be done for the rejected states.
Now we can jump into the MFOS desktop and see how this works. As you can see, in the draft state, only the document creator can see the document and has all the other permissions as well. And once the document is moved to the next state, the permissions change. And the permissions keep changing as the document progresses through the workflow. Permissions are a great way of making sure that the right people have access to the right documents and they get the access at the right time. Now it's your turn to go and try this out. And don't forget to watch the other videos as well to learn what else you can do with MFOS Admin Tool. See you soon.